Hi, everybody. Mike Johnson again here at Katrine Broadcast USA. I was walking through our busy test department today, and I noticed uh, an antenna that I just had to talk about. I know I might be talking about one of these gold antennas that I love so much, but today I'm going to talk about one of our German-made log periodic antennas. Uh, this log periodic antenna is a broadband VHF band 3 log. It covers 174 all the way up to the end of the DAB band at 240 megahertz. It's got 5 dBD of gain, and it is rugged. This is made out of galvanized steel. It's built to withstand those harsh environments that Mother Nature might throw at you. We all know nothing's Mother Nature proof, but this will withstand a lot of what Mother Nature can throw at her. Um, it's got solid rod, 15 millimeter solid rod elements welded to a galvanized steel boom. Those booms are rugged, um, but the, the ruggedness of this antenna, the robustness of this antenna is not the only key feature there. We use a fiberglass radome in here to protect that uh, impedance of those booms and also the feed point. That's going to give you excellent performance in those icy conditions also. So not only is it going to handle what she throws at you, as far as Mother Nature, it is going to give you good performance when, when she does throw a lot at you. Um, it's not just for low power applications. This comes with a 716 DIN connector and will handle up to 2 kilowatts per log. We can stack these vertically to increase the power rating or increase the gain. We can array these to get a, a, a certain custom coverage. Uh, as we come around to the side here, you can see the mounting plate, quarter inch galvanized steel. It is robust. It is, it is made to, to withstand what she can throw at you there. Um, as you come around further, we can see uh, the feed point radom on the, or the boom radom on this side come out that feed point radom. Um, this is one of our best catch seepers in the U.S. market. Uh, we have a, a nice array of these up in Vermont. Um, I've seen these used for receive antennas at very harsh sites. I've seen these used for transmit applications also. Um, they work really, really well. They're spec'd at uh, less than 1.25 to 1 across the VHF TV band. Um, typically, they're better than 1.5 to 1 um, across the band. Um, if we array these for higher gain or, or for some of those higher power applications, we can use some radial offsets to get you some visual compensation to get the, the performance even better as far as the visual. And it will help with those when it's iced up. That visual compensation will help when this antenna is iced up that you don't see the increase in reflective power. This thing is going to still perform excellent in those icy conditions. So I had to take the time to talk about it. I had to take the time to interrupt my test techs. And I got to take the time to, to let them get back to work. But if you have a band three application where you're in a harsh environment, um, you got to look at this antenna. Um, if you want any information on this antenna, uh, just contact us. You can contact us by our LinkedIn page, hit the contact button, or call us, whatever uh, works best for you as far as communication. Um, winter's rolling here, everybody, and I hope, uh, I hope all of you are ready. I hope um, winter's not too rough on anybody. Um, but if it is, if you have some issues, give us a call. We got a, an excellent stock of antennas. Uh, we can turn stuff around quickly and get you back on the air if that situation does arise. So again, thanks for taking the time uh, to watch, to find out more about this antenna. Um, if we need to get you more information, just hit that contact button and I'll get it out to you. And thank you for taking the time. Talk at you later.